Hello, this is Susan Jolie, and I work here at Microsoft in the Content Community Experience Group for the Business Platform Division. Through this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use the Excel Hive add-in to access Hive on Windows Azure. Hadoop on Windows is tightly integrated with Microsoft Business Intelligence applications like Excel. By using the Excel Hive add-in, you can connect to the Hive data warehouse built on top of Hadoop and pull together and analyze data to help make daily decisions. The Excel Hive add-in uses the Hive ODBC driver. First, I need to open the ODBC port on Windows Azure so that the add-in can connect to Hive and access the data. Open and sign into the Hadoop on Azure portal. The Open Ports tile shows that both the FTPS port and the ODBC server port are closed. Open the ODBC port. The default port number is 10000. The Excel Hive add-in can be downloaded from the portal under the Downloads tile. The add-in is available in both 32 bits and 64 bits. If you have 32-bit Excel 2010, you need to install the 32-bit Hive ODBC driver. Before I install the Hive ODBC driver, let me import some data so I can demonstrate how to access the data from Excel by using the add-in. From the portal, I can click the Remote Desktop tile to connect to the Hadoop cluster. Open the Hadoop command shell. Hadoop on Windows Azure ships some sample data and a Hive QL script to load the data into Hive. The files are located in the Examples Hive folder. Run the HiveQL script to load the data. To verify the data import, I can open the Hive command prompt and list the tables in Hive. I have one table called Hive Sample Table. I can also list a few rows of data. Now the ODBC port is open in Azure and the data is imported to Hive on Azure. At this point I can install and configure the Hive ODBC driver and the Excel Hive add-in to my local computer so that I can access the Hive data on Azure. Both Excel 2010 and the Excel Hive add-in have been installed on my computer. When I open Excel for the first time after installing the Hive ODBC driver, it's going to prompt me to install and configure the Excel Hive add-in. Apparently this isn't the first time I've run Excel, so I didn't get the prompt. To verify the installation, I'm going to click the Data tab, and I see the Hive pane button on the ribbon. Now, let's use the Hive pane to run a query against Hive. The Hive connection box lists all the Hive ODBC data sources. Right now I don't have any configured. If Hadoop on Windows is installed locally in the computer, the Hive ODBC installation creates a Hive ODBC data source called Local Hive Server. So because I don't have any data sources yet, I'm going to create one by clicking Enter Cluster Details. Give the data source a friendly name. The host name is the DNS name of my Hadoop on Azure server. I can find the name from the portal. To connect to Hadoop server on Windows instead of on Azure, I just need to put the DNS name or the IP address of that server. The default ODBC port is 10000. It matches the port number open on Windows Azure. I enter my credentials and then click OK. It can take a little bit of time to connect. Once it's connected, I can see a list of the tables. The Hive sample table is the table I imported earlier using the sample Hive QL. Select the table. It shows the table schema. The Hive pane is actually a Hive query builder. If I click Hive QL, I can see the actual Hive QL query. I want to see the rows where the state equals Texas, so I'm going to add a criterion. I see the Hive QL statement is updated. To get the data, I'll run the query. The data is imported into Excel. As you can see, the Excel Hive in makes it very easy to pull data from Hive on Azure. The whole process involves the following steps. First, open the Hive ODBC port on Windows Azure so that the client application can make the ODBC connections to Hive. And then install Excel 2010 and the Excel Hive add-in on the local computer, if they're not installed already. Finally, use the Excel Hive add-in to connect to Hive, and then build and execute a Hive QL to import data into Excel. For more information about using Apache Hadoop on Windows or with other Microsoft technologies, see the TechNet Wiki page. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.